white Bronco, hardcore Channing Decker, stepping into enemy territory tonight. There's still a large amount of this crowd cheering Channing Decker out of respect. But here's the hometown boy, Impact Wrestling star, the leader of Violet by Design. Eric Young has been a star in professional wrestling on your television for the past 20 years, right here in London, Ontario, getting the hometown welcome, a main event that had to be postponed with all the things going on in the world. But now, we finally get Channing Decker against Eric Young. And there is the bell. This one is official. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Decker's been on a real streak of trying to prove himself against the biggest names in the business. We're lucky enough to get Eric Young in his hometown tonight and again tomorrow night at Ted Reeve Arena in Toronto. You know, for Channing Decker, it's all about not just establishing himself, because I think he has established himself as one of the top men in this business, but what he's trying to do is to prove to everyone that his time is now. When you look at the matches that Channing Decker's had most recently with Rob Van Dam, a guy who is looked at as being the whole effing show. There's some respect. Channing Decker is here to prove that it is now his time. And now he stepped into the ring with Eric Young, as we mentioned, a star in this industry for years. On your television, you have seen Eric Young. Most recently, you have seen him on Impact Wrestling as the leader of Violent By Design. Channing Decker is here to prove it's his time now. It is his time to show that he is the man to take over this industry, and he's going to do that by at least attempting to defeat Eric Young here tonight. And that's no small feat. If oh, he can defeat not. Eric Young tonight, that really puts him uh, ahead of the game for tomorrow night. And it's not just, you know, you can prepare for a match, but to know you're going to have to face the same guy again tomorrow night. Ooh. And because it is a home at home, it's only two matches. So if you want to say I won the series, if I bested my opponent, you have to win match one. If you lose match one, the best you can do is tie the series. And nobody likes ties. No, absolutely not. Here we go, head of steam. Takes down Channing Decker with the, sh the shoulder block. Decker up and over. And Eric Young up and over the leapfrog this time. And what a, a deep arm drag. Gorgeous deep arm drag there. Shades of Ricky the Dragon's steamboat there. And Eric Young, of course, the veteran in this situation. As far as Channing Decker has come in his career, at this position in his career, he can't possibly have the experience that of Eric Young. Maybe that will be a factor here tonight. Decker, however, nice evasion there. And a scoop and a slam. Trying to get the crowd behind him. Oh, spinning leg drop. Incredible leg drop there by Decker. Goes for the cover. And almost had it there. Referee Cody Ireland tells Channing Decker it was just two, but that very quickly could have been three, and that would have been it. Decker getting him in the corner. What a chop. Straight knife edge chop to the pectoral of Eric Young. And you also have to consider the condition of Eric Young going into this match. Oh, look out. Hold on a second. Eric Young with a forearm now. Look out. Guillotine leg drop from Channing Decker. I don't think... Eric Young was expecting that. Yeah, very nice counter there by Channing Decker. The leg drop countering the shoulder tackle. And now Decker goes to the outside to follow up on that attack. Don't give Young any space. Oh, that looked painful. Right on the barricade. Yeah, not only is midsection there, we saw his shoulder go right into that protruding area. I feel like Young's going to feel, like, feel that one in the morning. Young now trying to take advantage. Oh man, 
That fist to the face just took the entire momentum of Decker's body almost up and over the guardrail. Decker's had hardcore matches in Japan and all over the States and Canada. And I don't know if I've ever seen Decker in a regular wrestling match like this take such a beating as he has tonight. Eric Young is no slouch. Oh, oh absolutely not. Eric, oh, Jesus. Decker goes right into that barricade. As we mentioned earlier, that is a much bigger and stronger barricade than, your normal, than you normally see in professional wrestling. You hit that, it barely moves. Like, you feel every inch of that barricade. Eric Young now setting up Decker. What's he got here? A suplex on the outside. No, oh. he's not going to do this. Do not do this. Decker, no. Decker counters. Oh. A vertical suplex on the floor, on the outside. There is no give in that floor. And if I know anything about physics, the energy that was in that suplex is not going to go into the floor. All of that energy is going to go into the body of Eric Young, and he's in a lot of pain right now. And you saw a great shot of the floor there. There's no mats there. No mats. What do you think, I made of money? You can't afford mats. That's not how we do things here in Greektown Wrestling. This is wrestling at its purest. As Decker goes through the cover here, and Young gets the shoulder up. After that suplex on the floor, just kicking out of that pin attempt had to be super painful for Eric Young. Yeah, having to use his core strength to get out of that maneuver there. And intelligently, Channing Decker goes into a stretch here, stretching out the core of Eric Young, stretching out the shoulders, trying to make Eric Young submit, not give him any time to recover after that suplex on the outside floor. Well, he put a lot of pain into the back of Eric Young, and now he's working on the rest of the body. You know, Eric Young's a little unorthodox. You don't know exactly what he's going to do at any time. You don't know what his main offense is. And if you could take out the entire body, it's hard to work one body part with Eric Young. So you kind of have to focus on all of it. Oh, Eric Young now, head of steam, ducks the attack. Whoa. Super kick right on the button. Goes for a cover here. And Decker gets the shoulder up just barely. That definitely took him by surprise. I don't know if Decker was expecting that. Young going what is top rope? What is Young doing? I'm not doing to the top rope, moonsault! Nobody home. Nobody home for the moonsault. And again, that midsection can't be in a good way. Hold on, cover. Young kicks out, but how much did that missed moonsault take out of him? Well, that, again, he hurt his back on the floor, and then he hurt his front on the missed moonsault. That's, hold on wait, wait a minute. Decker trying to choke Eric Young with his wrist tape. This is not a hardcore match. You can be disqualified in this match, Decker. And we've seen Cody Ireland disqualify someone earlier tonight as well in our main event in our championship match earlier tonight, disqualified the Beast King for a low blow. So it's not as if the referee will not disqualify you. They will disqualify you. Decker seems to be getting frustrated and maybe getting a little off his game. I think he prepared for Eric Young, but I don't know. I don't know if he prepared for this Eric Young. You know, you remember Eric Young from his days of Team Canada in uh, TNA and uh, well, this is a very different Eric Young. This is a very different Eric from Young. From Team Canada, you're right. We've seen the, the change in Eric Young over the years. You're right, from Team Canada on to his time with NXT and now doing the best wrestling of his career. Now, with Impact Wrestling, the leader of Violent by Design. He is one week removed, not even a week removed, a few days removed from being in the main event of a pay-per-view in a championship match against the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And that's the kind of talent we bring to Greektown Wrestling. Not only do we have Eric Young, who was in that main event, but tomorrow night we'll have Josh Alexander, the current Impact Wrestling Champion, at the Ted Reeve Arena in Toronto. So that said, like, you, you gotta believe Eric Young is, I know he's a tough SOB, but he has been through wars just days ago. Jawbreaker. That's going to rattle your brain, though. 
And so will that elbow. Your brain. Jeez, what an elbow. And Decker now eats the, the big boot as well. And a clothesline, down goes Decker. Elbow again. And a roaring clothesline takes down Decker, and Young is feeling it. Young scoops and slams Decker. Going to the top. Oh, this is vintage Eric Young. We know what's coming here as he ascends to the top rope. The fly elbow drop. Nailed it. On the button, goes for the cover, goes for the victory. Decker kicks out. Decker gets the shoulder up. He is still in this match. The series is still 0-0. Zero, zero. You can tell from the look on Eric Young's face, he really thought he had the free count there. He thought that was the end of the match. Even though Eric Young is in control here, don't count out Decker. Decker, oh, nice counter. Drops him on the top rope. What's this? Decker right to the top rope in one swift move. And a shot right to the face. Where do you think he picked that one up from? Shades of Rob Van Dam, his opponent at our last Greektown wrestling event. Decker! The homicide dive! Wow! A front flip dive over the second rope to the outside floor, taking out Eric Young, but taking himself out too. Again, onto the hard floor. That had to hurt both guys. The sickening thud of both those bodies hitting no the floor. No thanks. And they're back up. This is nuts that they're back up after that. That thud was disgusting. I don't know if Eric Young knows where he is right now. He's on spaghetti Decker legs. Knows where he is. Decker with the cross body off the top. Oh, unable to go for the cover immediately. Finds one now, though. Eric kicks out. The momentum of Decker on that cross body was almost to his disadvantage and knocked him too far away from Eric Young to get a cover immediately. By the time he got to the cover, I think it gave Young just enough time to kick out there. Just a little bit of breathing room is all Eric Young needs. Uh-oh. Oh, Eric Young's got him up. Death Valley driver. Cover. What is going on? Eric Young cannot believe it. I can't believe it. De I can't believe it. De Decker got the shoulder up after the Death Valley driver. We have seen Eric Young win many a matches with that maneuver. And I know Young is, I, Young has got to be just thinking, what else can I do here? Well, what's left? He's, I imagine looking for the pile driver at some point. But Decker has been right there every step of the way. Rebound clothesline off the second rope by Decker. Oh, what's Decker got here? Double underhook and drops EY right on his head. Goes for the cover. Oh, wait, he's got his. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Look at this. What is the sharpshooter? Oh, come on. Going for the sharpshooter. You know we've got Bret Hart in Toronto tomorrow night at that Ted Reeve Arena. You're using Bret Hart's move tonight? Using the sharpshooter, the signature hold of the hitman, Bret Hart, who will be in the building tomorrow night for Greektown Wrestling. Make sure you get your tickets now! Oh, Eric no. Young just kicked Decker into referee Cody. Cody's down, we have no referee. Hold on, like that, not only did Decker collide with Cody Ireland, but he also hit his head on the middle turnbuckle. That will, that will scramble your brain. Young goes for a small package though. That's, yeah, that, if, there, if the referee was able to make that count, Eric Young would have won that match right now. You can hear the crowd count along. He got up to a count of five. This match potentially would be over if Cody was not knocked out. <laughs> crowd chanting for Santino, what's he gonna do? I feel like Santino's probably already hit the showers and taken off the, the double medium referee shirt. <laughs> Extra medium. Big clothesline by Decker. Taking advantage of a distracted Eric Young. Decker now rolling to the outside. Hold on, what's he doing? Where's Decker going? Tomorrow night is the hardcore match. This is not a hardcore match. Decker 
He's got a chair. The hardcore match is tomorrow. Sorry, folks, but sometimes as a general manager, I have to say, the hardcore match is tomorrow. He's pulling out a table as well. Come on. And now placing the table inside the ring. He's not done. He's going to the other side of the and a steel chair this time. And he's going to use the point of the chair. Straight into the midsection of Eric Young. Come on! Enough's enough! And Cody Ireland is still down as Decker is wedging that steel chair in between the top and middle rope. Everybody's just watching. And now another chair. And he drives the chair onto the knee of Eric Young. This tomorrow night is the hardcore. I know Channing Decker. I know Channing Decker is hardcore Channing Decker, but that match is tomorrow night is a hardcore match. This is not. But with the referee still incapacitated, anything goes at this point, I suppose, as Young starts to fight back off the ropes and Sabu's the chair in his face. Wow. And Decker now just setting up Young onto the table. Oh no. Come on. No. Not here. No. Decker hops to the top rope. Incredible athleticism will give you that. But now the arena and he misses. Through the table, but nobody home. And then into the steel chair in the corner. Young sets him up. Paul Driver. The referee has come to. And Eric Young picks up the victory. Unbelievable. Eric Young in his hometown of London, Ontario, picks up the victory for match number one in this home at home series. And we got a little taste of what tomorrow night's match is gonna look like, because tomorrow night these two face each other in a hardcore match at the Ted Reeve Arena in Toronto. But not just that. Not just is it a hardcore match, but now it will be in the hometown of hardcore Channing Decker. That's right. In the building in which he played hockey. Not just played hockey, but played hockey as the captain of the Ted Reed team. Eric Young showing his appreciation to the fans of London. What a match. What a match. What's still unbelievable to me, Nug, is that these guys are going to have to do it again tomorrow night after just beating the hell out of each other tonight. Show of respect to Channing Decker there.